Okay, let's let's talk. I went to the store and got some other parts. Let's let's talk about this, shall we? I'm gonna talk about this a little bit. I'm gonna take okay, I, I bought this at the store. Now yours might not come with the rubber gasket here. If it doesn't, you can buy a separate gasket. Or if you buy this whole little tree, you can buy it just like this with the nut, the gasket, and the flapper. Or it might not come with anything. Okay? I'm going to take that off. It might just come with this white goodie, right? Without the flapper at all. Let's get the flapper out of the way so we're just talking about this, okay? Boom. You could buy that at the store. Okay? So now you gotta get the now you gotta get the rubber gasket. This was the culprit that's making this leak internally, the tank. Okay? So you put that on. Now, is there different sizes of this? There might be, but they're all pretty much standard. Okay, go to the store and look at it, and, and if it's not this one, they'll have something there. Talk to a salesperson there or something. Okay? So now hey looky here. Here's the old one, here's the new one. Look familiar? Okay now what I might end up having to do is I might end up cutting this one here the same length as this other one. Or maybe I won't. We'll just have to see. Right? Okay. Now I looked at this old one and the threads just looked a little suspect. Right up in here. I mean this could be 20 years old. 15, 20 years old. Alright. So like I said, I got the new one and I've decided I'm going to use the new one. Didn't really cost very much money. Okay, you got that like that, and then you take the nut and you tighten the nut down. Now can you see when I tighten that nut, I can take my channel locks, instead of sideways or at an angle, I can put them right here and get a good grab on there, like that. Do you see what I mean? I can grab that right like that and, and get that fully. And I'm going to make that snug as a bug in a rug. Okay, and I can do it that way. I don't need this gasket, do I? So far so good? Now this is the standard setup for most toilets nowadays. Now maybe they have this because um, 15 years ago this was just how they did it you know but when you go to replace these you don't have to do it that way okay but it doesn't have it doesn't have this rubber gasket what to do with that well here's this thing here this was the gasket and the washer okay now they say you can put that washer on like that and you can put the gasket like that. Okay? Now you can seat that and then you've got three bolts that are going to bolt this down to the tank and or to the bowl and then that's going to create the seal around there. Okay? Pretty much like like this. Only different, right? That seems to me kind of slightly hokey, only because you've got this nut here. You see the nut has the flat washer built into it. You see that? And that washer needs to go up tight there. So when you put this, when you put this gasket on there, you're only hitting the edge of that washer. Now some, some nuts nowadays are fatter. They almost look like like about that fat on both sides. So if you can imagine having that on there, I don't want to confuse you, there's only one nut. And you can put this on there. 
and then you can put that on like that. Okay? That's how the gasket and washer work. Okay? There's there's one idea for you. What else can we come up with? Let's talk about this old one again for a minute. You see this rubber gasket around here? This was the old one. So if you think you can get by with just replacing that, okay, you can get a new one and just install it right here. Okay, and put that back in there, cinch it up just like I did there, and you can do that. My experience though, working with, this, with these toilets, if you've got to replace this rubber gasket, you might as well replace the bottom one too because it's probably time for that one as well and they really don't cost that much. You want to keep all that stuff in mind. I went to the store, flush valve seal. I looked at that first. And I thought, hey, maybe I can use that as a washer for here. I can't do that because this is rubber. This will not work. This is for another type of application. So just because you go to the store doesn't mean all the parts are going to be for your project. Okay? You've got to be smart enough to know a few things. That's what I'm trying to teach you here. So that when you go to the store, you get the right parts. So that is a no.